Hi friends, hope you are doing fine. Today I'm going to answer a question which has been asked by several people. And this question is, does postdoc help you in getting a faculty position? So again, let us look at this question more deeply. What does a postdoc actually do? So essentially, if you have done your PhD, you have been trained in the art of doing research. When you have done your bachelor's and master's degree, you have been trained in various coursework and so on. Now, when you are going for a postdoc, one of the primary reasons for this is to further strengthen your research background. Essentially, you may be wanting to improve your research skills at a better university or by working with a well-known person. You may want to do work in a different area compared to what you did for your PhD. So this is going to broaden your research capability and increase your demonstrated expertise. You may want to generate a few publications which will strengthen your resume and so on. Now, the key thing to keep in mind is that this entire postdoc issue has to do with research. So essentially you are improving your research focus. So what's going to happen at the end of this training? It's likely that you have improved your research capability. You now have the PhD. So when you are a PhD student and you are applying to a faculty job, you do not really have a PhD. So that is always a big problem for people who apply for faculty jobs at the end of the PhD because they can ne never really define when is their PhD going to end. I doubt even many PhD supervisors can exactly define that time because that depends on the various results which are coming out as you do your research and so on, whether your papers are getting accepted or not and many other things. So at the end of the postdoc, you are likely to get three types of jobs. You can get a job at a research university as a faculty. You can get a job in the industry, in the corporate research and development sectors and you can get job in government labs or non-profit organizations as the case may be. So all these people are going to value your research capability which has been honed over years of study and finally finished off through the postdoc. Now let us look at where most faculty work. So if you consider this, most faculty actually do not work in research universities. They often work in universities largely focused on teaching. So there are a plethora of universities out there which give essentially four-year degrees or three-year degrees or five-year degrees and they may not be giving PhD degrees. So again if you are interested in any of these lecturer positions the best thing is to join these straight after your PhD because essentially this is one job which requires a PhD in many cases and in fact having a PhD is going to quickly get you a lecturer position at most colleges and universities. So keep that in mind. Now in some countries this may be called assistant professor also but essentially the bottom line is that this is a teaching position and if you think about it your teaching capabilities have essentially developed during your bachelor's degrees and master's degrees and what has happened in the PhD is your research capability has developed and you have improved your communication skills in writing and talking. So essentially by improving your communication skills in writing and talking, by being able to present a paper, present your thesis to people, you now have a better command of the floor, you now own the stage to some extent and therefore you are better prepared for teaching a typical class which you will be told to do. So whenever you are teaching a class, you essentially have to own the floor, you are on the stage and you have to perform and teach that course. So this is something which you develop in some extent during your PhD. Hopefully your PhD also has given you more confidence about your research area and your general field and therefore you can command the stage at this point. So these are some lateral benefits which accrue to you when you do your PhD. Now, if you are directly taking up a teaching job, do remember that every few years your teaching is going to get much better and you may get promoted to senior lecturer, you may become a professor, associate professor as the case may be. 
So I would say that in case you are interested in a teaching faculty position, then you should immediately take such a position once your PhD is finished. If you are interested in a research position and want to keep your options open, then you can go for the postdoc. Because essentially postdoc is about delaying a certain decision making. It is telling that you are still focused on the research path, you are trying to improve your research and it does let you essentially make this choice at a later point. But if you have a very good research background right at the end of your PhD, you have published five journal papers, you have an excellent record, then you will be able to get a research position or a research faculty position right at the end of your PhD also. So in case you are able to get these positions, I would just say take it because what you have got is in your hand and what you are aspiring to is actually not predictable. It may or may not happen. So in case you are getting a decent job at the end of your PhD, you should take that job because sometime these opportunities may not come around for a second time. So that was my take on the question, does postdoc help you get a faculty position and how to make decisions if you have got a postdoc and you have got a faculty position. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in a new video sometime soon. See you then.